Hello, it's Scott here from Digital Puppets, and this is just going to be a really quick video and I'm going to show you how to add Parallax to your Adobe Character Animator VTuber. I'm going to show you how to add Parallax, just sort of little things in Adobe Character Animator. So if we look at John Lennon's face over here, you'll see that when I move my face over, you got the normal parallax, so that's the nose, the eyes, and the mouth. But there are, there are other parallaxes going on as well. I've got the fringe moving over. I've got the sideburns moving over. I've got the jaw moving over as well, just to give the face move. If you look at the ears, the ears are moving back and forth, and the back hair is moving. And basically, anything you want to add parallax to, to the face, just so you can control it moving around so it's not just still uh, just to give your character more depth and to make it more advanced looking but right, it's dead simple this is how you do it all you do is you pick the element that you want to add parallax to so for example the fringe here and all you're going to have to do then is make sure you got it tagged as a head make sure you got it tagged as a nose and then you go down into the behaviors and you put add and you add face and then I normally rename it to mocap and then it'll come up as mocap and then you'll see it say fringe in a bit turn your head position strength to basically turn everything to zero apart from parallax strength and parallax strength you either want it you know, 100, 200, 300, you'll play around with it when you get it on the model in a minute. Or you might even do negative, and I'll explain why for that in a second too. So, that's all you gotta do. Basically, you just gotta um, tag the layer as a head, as a nose, and add the face behavior. Turn all the settings down to zero, apart from the parallax setting, and then, and rename it as mocap just so it's easier to find in the properties. And then here you'll see, let's find the fringe. Do, do, do. So here we go, we've got fringe. And we've got everything turned down to nothing. Now if you look at him there, I've got it at 600%. If I whack that all the way up, you can see that hair is moving around a lot more. So I'm going to put that back down to six. And then... Like I say, when you turn your face, you know, some elements of your face follow the direction, but other elements, like this ear at the back and the back of your hair, is moving in that direction. So for those, you want it minus, so like minus 100, minus 200, whatever. And generally, it's the case of once you've added them, you come into your scene and then you just, you know, play around with just dragging the um, sensitivity, the strength of the parallax back and forth just until you get it exactly how you want it, you know, how it's moving right, and that's it. Dead simple. Any questions, put it in the comment below or email me directly at info at digitalpuppets.co.uk. Bye.